We are talking about lubrication, not the kind you're using for your partner. We're gonna be talking about this lube over here. I purchased this for 19 Rand 99 at Macro, which is basically South Africa's equivalent to Walmart. For you American or international folk, 19 Rand 99 is only a buck 20 in US dollars. One dollar 20 for lubrication. How does it stack up to the more expensive lubrications like White Lightning, Smooth, Squirt, which has a price tag five times more expensive than this lube over here? I've been putting this lube through its paces over the last six months and these are my findings. This video was sponsored by all my Patreons. Huge thank you to you brews. If you like the channel, you want to help out and sponsor these videos, head on over to my Patreon account for weekday videos. Link is in the video description below. It's also going to pop up on the corner of the screen. There you'll get super early releases, more videos more often. Yeah. This is from a brand called Herschel's. I was walking through Macro, for some reason I found myself in the sporting goods section and that caught my eye because it had the price tag of 19 Rand 99. Now with a deal like that, I was like, what the fuck have I got to lose? Now given this is only 85 milliliters, if you look at the price tag of more expensive lubes, you're getting 100, between 100 and 125 mils for around about 100 Rand, 110 Rand. But how did the lubrication perform out in the trail? Well, application was very easy with this. The viscosity of this is very, very thin or watery. If you're familiar familiar with the lubrication called white lightning this is very close to the clean ride version of that if I smell this oh, whoo shouldn't be doing that holy fuck <laughs> this I don't know if you remember if you are South African you'll remember Tipex Americans would know that as whiteout we used to get these in little containers with a little brush on it and you used to Tipex out or white out your mistakes on your piece of paper that you wrote on we used to have this back in the day and if your cursor was untidy we'd have to use Tipex to fucking make a correction on your cursive writing in school it was a pain in the ass that shit always used to dry the fuck out and we used to get this little bottle of thinners which we used to mix in with the container of Tipex to thin it out and make it liquid again. Some of us motherfuckers out there even used to put it on our tires in the classroom and sniff it and get all high as fuck in the classroom. Yeah, that's kind of like what schooling was like for me. The scent from this is very similar to the scent of that Tipex thinners. So it's the wax base that's been thinned out. Now this is dry lube, dry lubrication for dirt bike chains. Now it's actually meant for dirt bikes, but hey, hey, on here in the fine print, it does say, and mountain bike chains. Easy penetration of links, does not fling off, extends chain life, resists water wash off, suitable for high load applications, contains Teflon, MOS, squared, whatever the fuck that is, and other solid lubricants to greatly increase wear resistance. The liquid inside that bottle is very thin, like very watery. So the application onto your chain is very easy, very simple, pulls into the chain, links very well. My findings out on the dry dusty trails was that this actually outperformed the more expensive lubes like Squirt. When I say outperformed, my drivetrain was running quieter using this compared to using the equivalent like Smooth or Squirt. Particularly on one asshole of a trail that is local to me. It is so fucking dusty there, it's like moon dust. And if I ride that in summertime, I get halfway through that trail and my drivetrain sounds like a fucking tractor. I did find that I had to reapply this lube more often. I'd apply that lube once every three rides where the more expensive lubes, I'll be applying every six to seven rides. I used the same technique of applications. I did find that this lube really fucking sucked in the wet. Now given it is dry lube meant for dry weather and dry conditions, I did take it out on some wet rides and as soon as the water touched my drivetrain, this just fucking broke apart and fell apart. It's real shit in the wet. Luckily at Macro, the wet lube was also 19 Rand 99, so I fucking bought a bottle of that as well as three bottles of this. I also found that this lube ran slightly cleaner than what the more expensive wax lubes did. Squirt and Smooth are notoriously known for being dirty. No matter what the fuck I do, how I apply it, follow the manufacturer's guideline in the application, it still fucking gunks up on the chain and on the jockey wheels. Some of you assholes are gonna say, oh, but you're applying it wrong. 
know I apply dry lube correctly. I followed the manufacturer's guideline in applying that motherfucking lube. So I'll create another video on how I go about in applying this dry lube on my drivetrain. And if you say that's wrong, then go to a support group and go talk about that shit over there. But I've applied the lubes in many different ways and the way I currently do it is the cleanest way. And as more expensive bottles of lubrication, they run dirtier than what this does. Now this doesn't run 100% clean. I did find that there was build up on the jockey wheels, but the chain stays cleaner from the gunk build up than the more expensive lubes. I also found that this takes longer to dry on the chain than the more expensive lubes. The viscosity of this lube is much thinner than the more expensive brands like Smooth and Squirt. So it appears that this penetrates the chain links a lot better than those. Although White Lightning is also a great lubrication because it's also quite thin. So it penetrates the chain links better than what Smooth and Squirt do. And that's why my drivetrain is running quieter on the dry drier, dustier trails. The performance is really good from this. Although it doesn't last as long, I would definitely purchase this again because I'm still saving bucks even though I've got to reply at double the amount of time. And my drivetrain is running quieter using this. That's my finding with super cheap versus expensive lubes. You gotta apply it more often. It is worse in damp and wet weather. It still lubricates and drivetrain runs quieter. So fuck, who would have thunk that? Hit that subscribe button if you like the channel, the notification bell so that you are notified every time I drop a video. Let me know in the comment section below what lubrication you are currently using, the price tag of that and how you are enjoying riding with that. Like and share this video. I'll catch you on the next episode.